Well, today is July 4th, 2019, but rather than wishing America a happy birthday, we really should be celebrating the independence of the 50 states. That's why we call it Independence Day. See, we'll ponder this and more next on the Constitution Study. There's one thing you have to know wherever you make your stay. Came from a long through line of everyday Americans. Well, hello, everyday Americans. Paul Engel here with the Constitution Study, where we read and study the Constitution and teach the rising generation to be free. I'm glad you could join me today. As always, head over to the website, constitutionstudy.com, for all things Constitution Study. Articles, podcasts, videos, it's all there. You can ask questions, you can make comments, and as always, if you have a question about anything I'm talking about today, put it in the comments section. I'd love to see your questions and, and uh, see how I'm communicating this information. Being it's Independence Day, though, I do want to make one special shout out. I want to shout out to the Unionville Volunteer Fire Department. Now, you may be asking why shouting out to a volunteer fire department on Independence Day. Well, the answer is, that's where I buy all my fireworks. So I love it. It's very Fahrenheit 451, but the fire department sells fireworks as a fundraiser. I think it's great. I think it's awesome. I think it's American, so I'm giving them a special shout-out today. Uh, I'm going to be in Atlanta end of July. I think it's the 26th and 27th. You can always get more details on the website. It's the Southeast Homeschool Expo. I have a booth. Now, he should have a couple workshops there as well. So if you're in the area, please stop by, say hello, love to shake your hand, love to meet you face to face. I'm still looking for a volunteer to help man the booth on that Friday. So if you're in the area and willing to help, reach out. I, I, I'd love to talk it over with you. Well, let's talk about Independence Day. But first, I really think we need to change the scenery, don't you? Excellent. See, while there's a lot of interesting history around how and why the Declaration of Independence was written, there is one important point I want to consider today. Well, maybe two. You see, when the Continental Congress adopted the Declaration on July 4, 1776, they did not create a new nation, but 13. 13 independent states. Well, just look at the title. The Unanimous Declaration of the 13 United States of America. It was 13 states united together that declared independence. Notice that united was not capitalized. That's because United States was not a proper noun. United was an adjective describing the states as being united together. You see, it had become necessary for the people of these colonies to separate from, great, from the state of Great Britain and to assume the powers that other states have. When? In the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and natures of nature's God entitle them. A decent respect to the op opinions of mankind require that they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation. See, they also believed they needed to give a reason why they were why they were doing this, the reasons for the decision to separate from Great Britain. And that is what the Declaration is. It's their justification for independence. Then after giving the list of reasons, 27 and all, they made a point I wanted to emphasize today. We, therefore, the representatives of the United States of America and General Congress assembled, appealing to the supreme judge of the world for the rectitude of our intentions do in the name and by the authority of the good people of these colonies solemnly publish and declare that these united colonies are and of right ought to be free and independent states that they are absolved from all allegiance to the british crown and that all political connection between them and the state of great britain is and ought to be totally dissolved and that as free and independent states they have the full power to levy war conclude peace contract alliances establish commerce, and do all other acts and things which independent states may of right do. See, this is important. Notice they compared 13 independent states with the state of Great Britain. And notice they didn't say we, or they didn't say, you know, a, a country, the United States. They created 13 independent states. Each of those states had those powers to levy taxes, collect, or to levy war, uh, conclude peace, to establish commerce. Each of the states did that. Now, they 
joined together, that was part of the plan behind the creation of the Declaration of Independence, were them to join together in a, in a confederation, but they created 13 independent states. See, then they concluded what should be a famous statement here in America. And for the support of this declaration, with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, we mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. So as you're enjoying your cookouts and your parades and, and, and fireworks, please remember this. We are celebrating the, the creation of 13 independent states. States that join together in a union for their mutual protection and edification. 37 other free and independent states have joined this union over the years. But the liberties you are enjoying today did not come freely and did not come easily. Our founding fathers pledged their lives to this cause. They pledged their fortunes to secure your liberty. And they pledged their sacred honor to do it right. Don't you think today of all days we should honor their sacrifice? Along with those who have paid for our liberty with their blood and their lives and their loved ones? Should we not pledge our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor to restoring and maintaining the independence of these states that was purchased at so high a price? So please, I ask you, spread the word about the work we are doing here today. And I'd love it if you took your Independence Day stories and placed them in the comments below. Help others see how you celebrate the independence of the states. Subscribe to the YouTube channel or follow us on Facebook. Share your information there. Most of all, be as safe as you can as you enjoy this day of independence. Let's make it about more than hot dogs and hamburgers and fireworks. Let's take this opportunity to declare a new age of independence in America. Sure, enjoy your time with family, enjoy your cookouts, enjoy your fireworks. But if that all this day has become, it truly has become the 4th of July because our independence doesn't matter. No, let's work to make this truly Independence Day, where we remember the independence of the states and we pledge our lives and our fortunes and our sacred honors to, to keeping the independence that they have and restoring the independence they, want ha they once had. So I hope you have a wonderful, safe, and enjoyable Independence Day. And I hope to see you again the next time on the Constitution Study. God bless. There's one thing you have to know wherever you make your stand.